Hi guys. Hello. Good morning. This is start of another vlog. So today we are going to a special place, which most of the new immigrants go to eventually because you know how harsh the weather of Canada is. So where are we going today? Uh, we are going for our uh, driving test. It's just the G1 learner test we are going for. Uh, so we are not yet sure if uh, we'll be able to. Uh, finish things today because it started snowing all of a sudden and we are very late. It's close to 10 a.m. People suggest that you have to arrive to the test center by uh, 7.30 or 8. But uh, we are just taking our chances. So once uh, we are done with it, uh, probably once we arrive there or come back after everything, maybe we'll be able to give more updates on what happened. This is how it is looking today. It's snowing. So we have to walk till the bus stop now in this. Wish us good luck. G1 test. I have received temporary G1 receipt which says that I have passed this exam. So altogether I did three wrong questions. I practiced from few apps which I'll mention in the description below. I'm just waiting for her. She is still giving her examination. Fingers crossed she passes her exam. We're back in the line. Um, so mine is done. We are just waiting for her to give the retest. <laughs> so I she, have failed. <laughs> so yeah, but no worries. I know it's not that easy as that. So yeah, I did no. not prepare much, so it's it's fine. I'll just retake the test. Uh, I don't want to travel this far again. So let's see what happens. It's snowing quite a bit Wish today. Me luck. <laughs> So how was your experience? I passed finally on third attempt. Uh, yeah, there, there is a lot to tell but right now I'm feeling so cold. So probably once I am back at home, I'll explain everything in details. the G1 test in, uh, in the morning around 11 a.m. we arrived there there were about 35 people in the queue when we arrived they called us inside uh, around uh, 12 p.m. so we had to wait outside in the snow uh, in about uh, one hour I believe and by two, uh, one o'clock our first test was done I say first because as, as I said I failed my uh, first test and then I had to retake it uh, the second time we went for the queue uh, there were hardly uh, five six people and then second time also I could not pass it um, and the, the last time uh, I was the only in the queue there were no, uh, no one else uh, so that time I could pass it actually 
बट आई मीन दिस इज जस्ट समथिंग यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड बिकॉज आई हैड टू पे सिक्सटीन डॉलर्स टू वाइज आई मीन दैट इज थर्टी टू डॉलर्स एक्स्ट्रा टू रीटेक द टेस्ट बट दैट इज वन गुड पॉइंट दैट यू डोंट हैव टू पे द एंटायर अमाउंट इज जस्ट द नॉलेज टेस्ट दैट यू नीड टू पे फॉर सो द स्टेप बाई स्टेप प्रोसेस वॉज टू जस्ट गो देयर एंड स्टैंड इन द क्यू दे वेर कॉलिंग अबाउट टेन पीपल एवरी टाइम सो वंस वी गो इन साइड दे वुड गिव अस अ टोकन एंड दे विल सेंड अस इन वन ऑफ द काउंटर वेयर दे चेक अवर आई डी दे विल चेक वेदर वी हैव अ लाइसेंस बैक फ्रॉम आवर होम कंट्री and also a dl extract that you get from your home country and uh, after that they, they will just do little bit of eye test that is they will just uh, show a yellow light uh, which direction it is moving you have to tell and they, they will show some numbers that you have to read it out so yeah once those things are done they will just uh, take the payment and send you in inside another room so there you have to give your test uh, there were about uh, 40 uh, questions so uh, it comes into two parts part a and part b so in every part uh, maximum four question can go wrong but if it is more than four then you fail like in either of the section so for me it was like first time when i attended uh, i was uh, having six wrong answers in uh, section 1 and the section 2 there were no wrong answers but i was not able to score at least 16 out of 20 in the first section it was considered as uh, failed only so uh, second time when i i had to retake it uh, that time the part b uh, section did not come up because already since i was uh, i cleared uh, at the first attempt so pa- part b was not included second time i had to just retake the part one so that is also a good thing it saves your time as well uh that is the reason why, why i could actually uh, retake it uh, again and again because it was not taking much time many people actually suggest that you have to go as soon as possible in the morning around 7:30 or uh, like before 8 o'clock uh, i'm not sure like um, i i know of course the experience differs uh, people to people like uh, the day whenever you, you are going for test that also matters a lot so today we went it, it was a snowy day and i i think because of the holiday season also there were not so many people uh, but uh, when we were coming back after 1 pm there were very less people like it was hardly about 5 10 people who were standing in the queue and by the time it was 2:30 or 2 there were no people at all so like you can either choose uh, to go as early as possible otherwise um, probably i would suggest you can uh, go little late maybe after 12 or something but yeah again i cannot guarantee anything on that because i, I don't know how it it is uh, usually and uh, other than that um, overall charges for the uh, test uh, was 106 out of that uh, i guess 90 dollar is for the license and 16 dollar is for the knowledge test one more thing uh, before going uh, if you don't want to pay anything extra uh, like maybe just uh, th- there are some applications and there are some materials available online you can just uh, go through it once or twice for me uh, i uh, installed the application but i i did not practice it properly so i was not so sure but this this was the only uh, saturday i i could manage time because if i was not giving it today it would have been very delayed for me uh, because of the holiday season and other stuff so i i thought of taking the chance anyways i i was not very confident also but yeah again it is fine that ultimately i i could pass after three attempts so yeah you, when you are going and you if you don't, don't want to it's, it's pretty much basic question like most of the at least 90% answers maybe you will be knowing but uh, there would be few uh, answer that is based on uh, ontario's and canada's laws and regulation which may differ from your home country so it's better to take a look at that if you like this video then share this video with uh, the people who are planning to go for their g1 test and uh, also uh, please subscribe to our channel to know more about our life in canada bye stay connected